Okay, in this video, what we're going to look at is we are going to look at the beginnings of the coordinate system um, as well as the beginnings to how to graph. So the first thing that you have to uh, pay attention to when dealing with the coordinate system is you have to know what your coordinate planes are and how they work. So when we're talking about a coordinate plane, we are talking about um, the x and y axis. So we're looking at how we move left and right or up and down and which is which. So the x axis, if you look here, my pretty little coordinate plane, the x axis is this horizontal axis here. So when we're talking about the x axis, we are talking about shifting left to right. So that would be this axis line here is my x-axis. And so here this is left to right. Now that being said, we also have what's called vertical axis. The vertical axis obviously would be this vertical axis here and we call that the y-axis. Now the y-axis is going to be where we are talking essentially about your movements and in terms of them going up and down. Okay. Now your coordinate plane, if you notice, has broken the page up into four quadrants. So we have one, two, three, and four. So when we're looking at them, we have some specific information that appears in each quadrant that we have to be aware of. So first, we have quadrant one. Quadrant one is your positive, positive quadrant. Okay, so when we're looking at coordinate points, this is your positive, positive coordinate. It is labeled as the point x, y. So notice both x and y are um, positive and that would be your ordered pairs. Now, quadrant two would be this one here. And in quadrant two, we are essentially looking at negative positive. So if you pay attention, its coordinate is labeled as negative x comma y. So we're talking about your left right movement and then your um, up down movement. Now, continuing to move through, we would shift down and so here we've got our quadrant three. Quadrant three is the exact opposite of my quadrant one, so it would be the negative, negative quadrant. And its ordered or coordinate pair looks like negative x, negative y. Now, last but certainly not least, we have quadrant four. Quadrant four is going to be our positive negative version and its coordinate plane is going to be x comma y. So here when we're talking about our coordinates the easiest way to remember how to draw them is you're always going to start at quadrant one and your trick is you're drawing a C. So notice you can see the C shape Okay, so if we were to draw a C, um, this would be what it would look like here. So we've got our C. We are starting uh, from this side here. So this is our starting point, And we are traveling around in this direction. To, so as long as you do that every time, then you'll be able to label your coordinate points the way that you need to. Okay. So that's essentially what we're looking at. And so we're going to be able to tell based on the coordinate points you have and the type of quadrant you are in 
um, the direction that you're moving, okay, as well as how much. So when we're talking about positive positive, then in terms of the XY position or the X position, this would be moving to the right and the other positive for the Y would be moving up. So that's how your coordinate works. Over here we have negative positive which means we're going to move to the left and move up. Here we have negative negative which means again we're going left but this time we're going down. And then we have positive negative which means we're moving to the right and we're moving down. So we can look at using this idea, your coordinate plane, in order to do a few different things. So one of the first things that we're going to look at doing is being able to plot ordered pairs by moving along your x and y axis. So here we've got five different ordered pairs that we are going to take a quick look at. And what you would have to do if this was, say, an assignment, is you would have to be able to um, plot those different values into your coordinate plane here. So I'm going to um, play with some colors just to make it a little bit easier so that you can see some of what we're doing. So first and foremost, we have a. So A, I'll go ahead, we'll make it purple. A is at the point 2, 5. So what we have to remember in this is that it is x comma y. Here both of my points are positive, so that means we're going to move uh, to the right, and then we're also moving up. So first I would label your axis x and y. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go, so we're going to start at the point zero, zero. We're going to move to the right two points, so one, two. Then we're going to move up five. So from where we were, now we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And if you notice, this point right here will label A. And if you look at where it's located, it's located two points away and five points up from your axis lines. All right, let's look at the next one here. We'll do this one in blue. So here we have negative 4, 2. So negative 4 means we're going to move to the left. So again, we would go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have to go positive 2, 1, 2. So this point would lie right here, and this would be B. So again, if you look at this point, x goes first, and we are 1, 2, 3, 4 away from your um, origin point, and then we are up 2 to get to that point. So essentially we're looking at how are we traveling. Alright, let's look at C. Here we're going to go the point 0, negative 5. So 0 says we are not moving off of this axis point at all. We're not going to go left or right in any direction. But we're instead going to go down 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my point is going to go right here. And this is point C. Alright, next we can look at D. So notice D is the point negative 1, 0. So we're going to move over 1. But notice the 0 says we are not going up and down at all. So the point is right here at negative 1, 0. And this would be D. And then last, we have point E. So we'll go ahead and do it in this color. So here we've got negative one half, so we're not quite going to go all the way one, we're only going to go half the way, but then we're going to go down three, so then it's one, two, three, and that puts this point right here, and this is point E. So notice in all of this, what we did 
was we've put the coordinate points in but then we've also labeled what we're doing. So if you are not going to color code then you need to make sure just like I was showing you here that you write the letter next to your coordinate point just so that you have it identified. The other thing that you always could have done is instead of writing the letter A you could have written the actual point to 5 um, to identify it. So however you choose to identify it is up to you but also make sure you identify according to your directions. Now this was simply plotting ordered pairs. The other thing we can do is we can identify what the coordinate is based on the pair that's been plotted. So in order to name a coordinate you must give the x and y values and enclose them in parentheses. Now the most important thing that you need to remember is that we always label your x value first, your y value second. So what does that mean? It says first we're going to move left or right, then you're going to move up or down. Okay, so you have to look left or right first, you look up or down second. Okay. So let's put this into action. We have a whole array of points here in my graph. And I want to identify just three of them out of it. So the first I want to identify as point A. So point A is this point right over here. So what I have to do is based on this point, I'm going to go straight down to my axis. And I need to figure out how many points away from it it is. So I'm going to start here at my origin and I'm going to count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we know that my x coordinate when we get to right here is going to be a 6. So the first thing I have is parenthesis 6. And then did I move left or right? Well I move left. So you got to input your negative. And then from here, we need to get up to our coordinate point. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we've hit our coordinate point. So this is going to be 5. And I went in the up direction, so it means it's positive. And that's the first coordinate point. So let's look at point C. Point C can be found right here. So again, we need to start with our x, so we can open our parentheses if we want. And so here, we have to figure out how far away from the origin this is. So we're going to start at the origin, and we're going to count 1, 2, 3. So notice at 3, I'm kind of right here where my point would be. So I've gone 3, but I went in the left direction, so it's negative. And then I need to drop down just simply 1 to get to my C. So because I'm going down, it means I'm also negative, but I only went down one unit. Now last we have point F. And so here, we're going to go from our point up again to that X axis. Take a look at where we're stopping. We're going to start at the origin. We're going to count all the way out to our little mark here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now since I went in the right direction, it means it's positive. So I'm starting with 4. And then from here I have to go down. So 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Because it's down, it means it's negative. And there we have it. So what you have to uh, or realize when you're identifying points is most of the time you're probably going to be given more points than what's necessary. What you have to make sure that you do is identify the question and do what the question is asking. All right, so that is everything that you would need to know to get started with coordinate points either by going from the coordinate point into a graph or going from the graph into its coordinate point identification. Now you will use this idea as you advance your way 
and start graphing different problems. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, remember to keep smiling, relax, have a good time, and I'll see you next time.